everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more Miraculous. I am super excited to continue watching. Hope you guys are as well. We are going strong into our week of Miraculous. I hope you guys have been enjoying it just as much as I have. We are going to be watching season two, episode four, Despair Bear. I have no idea what that means. My, my guess is maybe... I'm trying to think of like bear. So either we're like going back to the zoo or maybe I'm trying to think of like who's a bear, like the principal or maybe like Marinette's dad. Like he's pretty cuddly like a bear. Maybe. <laughs> but I am very excited to watch. It's going to be very, very interesting. So please remember, guys, to go support the official release of Miraculous Ladybug either on Netflix or on Disney Plus, depending on your country. And of course, if you want to see my full uncut reactions to Miraculous, you can check out my Patreon page. Link in the description below to get access to the uncut reactions. And guys, if you missed the other episodes, I want to inform you guys again that if you go and like the first season two, episode one and two video reaction, we're trying to get to 5,000 likes over there. If we do that, if we get the 5,000 likes, I will start reacting to Miraculous Ladybug on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, but that is only if that video hits 5,000 likes. So make sure you go like that video, send it to your friends, all oh, that fun stuff. But without further ado, let's get started. I let you in on a little secret. I always add cream to the chocolate to make the ganache extra velvet. Then I let it in oh my God, it is. for one minute. <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Hey, Dickie! Quietly, students. Single file line, please. Just keep moving. Just... Did you call? Oh, it's only a fire. Are you true? Yes, Miss Bourgeois. I saw a student leaving the classroom right before the alarm went off. It must have been her. <gasps> really? Who was it? Let's see if she'll come clean. What do you say, Marinette Dupenche? Oh Marinette? my god! Do you have something to tell us? Excuse me, sir, but it couldn't possibly be Marinette. Why would she disrupt her own father's cooking class? Yes. And I know for a fact that Marinette didn't even have her phone on her when she went out of the classroom. I mean, can't this. they look at her tell. phone? The whole school will be punished. <gasps> oh. What? I'm not so sure my father will react kindly to oh me being god, punished without She's paper. literally the worst. Do you see what just went down? I know. Adrian just talked to my Seriously, no! Honey! Why you like this? Please. Who with me who called the fire department. Oh. So what? And it doesn't bother you that everyone's being punished because of you? No. Why would it? They should be faking me if anything. I'm sorry, Chloe, but I can't be friends with someone who treats other people like oh. this. You've got to be nice to people. Nice? Yes, nice. It's not that hard. Ooh! Wow, Adrian! I'm proud of you! This is what I'm talking today. about! This is what I'm talking about! He's a good boy! Marinette doesn't deserve him! She wants to grow still! <laughs> Adrian, Adrian says I have to good. be nice to everyone! I like, like him! him. If you could allow it, mademoiselle, I could help you keep your friendship with Adrian. Why would you do a thing? Why because she's sucking on her all about Mr. Godley can teach you how to be kind to us. Oh, your I mom. Remember Jean Luc? Adrian's gonna see just how nice I can be. Chloe. Hold on, let me get my glasses on so I can see it. What is that? Oh, it's a bitch! <laughs> oh, the Baker girl as well? It's what Mr. Curry will do, yes. Uh. Disgusting. You don't go. Nice. You don't they're, go. They're, they're, I'm bitter like that. No, I'm bitter like, like that. Awesome don't nice. go. Whatever, it's not go. worth don't it. Don't go. Yeah, it's Queen. Yeah. He's going to the party. Okay, as you guys are right, we should get Chloe one more chance. Marinette, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Wait. Wait, but no one's even had a negative emotion yet. Hold the phone. Fly away, my evil Akuma. Finding a victim to evil eyes would be a piece of cake. 
You're just sending one out in hopes. What the fuck? Bro, you're messed up. Get a different hobby. Mademoiselle should go downstairs and greet her guests in a welcoming manner with a hug Aww. and a kiss. Well, it's what Mr. Codley would do. Oh my god. This way, you will prove to your good friend Adrian that you really are nice. Oh. This whole party is way weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so this is the bear. She's gonna throw a tantrum and she's gonna get kumatized, isn't she? God, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I should have got you back on video. Yeah, seriously, it like they're about to make out. What are you doing, Miss Boussois? Where's that natural cruelty I'm counting on? That's what she's doing. She's doing this just one minute away. She's doing it to please Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> oh. Close up? Is this Careless Whisper? Well, Sounds like Careless Whisper. Dance with an awesome guy. Oh no! I love it. Where is he? Hmm? Why are you so mean? <laughs> oh, here he is, right in front of me. Oh, she's so far away from him. She's like leaning back. Go over and ask him, girl. Uh, Do girl, it! Adrian, no! Come here, girl. Do you want to dance? Uh, no! Oh my god! Oh, they're dancing! Oh my god, my babies! They're dancing! Oh. What? I am Thanks. You're a pretty good dancer yourself. Uh. <laughs> the bear is killing me. See, Chloe's on her best behavior tonight. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I like both their faces, like. with this. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, oh. Dance with Adrian under my breath. Hey, the song's not over yet. Aww. If I may say, Mademoiselle, or to... You, John Jock! Oh, please, Chloe, dear. You've been such a good little girl. Mr. Cuddly is so very Oh, no. <laughs> but, I can help with your stupid teddy bear, your stupid advice, oh. and you, John, whatever your stupid name is. But, Mademoiselle, I was only trying to help. There's no more Mademoiselle. No more help. No more anything. Uh -oh. You are fired. Oh. Now get out. Oh no. Why did I think it'd be Chloe that got akumatized? What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Oh. Oh! Oh, he's a nice! You've been very naughty, Chloe kids. And this fair bear is not proud of you. The kind of talk will make you pay! Oh. Alright then. On. Why? Oh. Come here, Chloe. Sabrina, what's gotten into you? Well, let me brush your hair. I promise I won't hurt you. Oh, yes, I stop her. <laughs> oh. 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 I think I had too much orange juice. I gotta go. See ya. No problem. I have something to do anyway. See ya. <laughs> oh my god, these kids. Would you like to dance, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> Would you the like to dance? Oh, my body experience. It was like Marinette Focus. Yeah, honey. Back down to Earth. Okay. I'm glad she had fun. I really am. I'm glad she got to have that little moment. But do need to help people, you know, superhero crazy. <laughs> Despair. Oh, 
Oh, oh no! Wow. Chloe, you were actually very nice to help. I will give you that credit. I'll give you that credit and only that credit. Congrats. One good deed. Chloe, would you be so kind? Oh, wow, we actually are using Chloe's help. No, stop what's happening. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, nothing. Just saving your skin with the help of our new little sidekick. A sidekick! Huh. Wow. <laughs> Chloe was actually helpful. I'm sincerely surprised. Though she was horrible 85% of the episode. She did actually help us. But she did cause this. Mm. You know? Thanks for helping me out there. That was really nice of you. Yeah. I know, wasn't it? I instantly <laughs> hate her again, though. Well, basically, you turned evil and I saved you. In fact, without me, Ladybug and Tattle would never have succeeded. I'm even better than you superheroes. I don't even need a costume. <laughs> Alright. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. I think that thing of yours about being nice might actually make some sense. I decided to keep you on after all. Oh! That was really so kind. Don't let the guests go away, Jean-Baptiste. They mustn't miss what's coming up next. Oh. You've done some really good work. Oh. Oh. That was a great idea in fighting Marinette's dad. I know. This way no one can be mad at me for calling the fire department. I think you've proven that you're capable of making an effort to be nicer to everyone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Age your kids. I'm capable of Pinky making swear. an effort of Pinky being swear. nice. I like that. I like how you phrased it. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Wow, this is really good. Your baking is as good as your dancing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, honey. Um, how did Chloe get the bowl on her head? Did Ivan hit her with a bowl? All right, so I kind of like how that episode <laughs> like spun me for a loop. It was really funny because I literally was like, Maybe it's, I was trying to think of like, who's like a bear type character. And like, I literally was like, Marinette's dad, uh, the principal. And then they both were in the beginning of the episode. And I was like, oh my God, I'm a genius. I'm so smart. But no, they weren't akumatized at all. It was the helper to Chloe, the butler. So, but that was super funny. I was so proud of myself. I was like, wow, I called this shit. I called it like, let's go. But no, no, it was not. It actually wasn't. Oh, lame. <laughs> but overall, I like this episode a lot just because of the fact that like, yes, I can hate Chloe all I want. I still don't like Chloe. But at least this episode gave me some idea of who she could be and can be. Um, from that little snippet we saw with like the butler and the bear scene where like, you know, she's a baby. It looked like mom gave her this bear before she left because we haven't seen Chloe's mom at all. I have no idea who Chloe's mom is, but it looks like Chloe's mom left. Stuff happened and then she became friends with Adrian. So I don't know who mom is, but I think mom is still around because they didn't like make a point to be like, I don't have mom. It was just like this bear is really important to me because this is what my butler used and it represents my mom apparently or ha has an attachment to her mom, but she didn't seem to like care about that. It's more so that he just used it to teach her to be nice. So very interesting to get a little bit more on Chloe. I do like that at least she cares about what Adrian thinks of her. I think that's good to know because that does give us some hope. Yes, she should not like base her opinions on like Adrian only. But seeing that like she does value Adrian's friendship quite a lot. Shows that she is capable of having friendship she just doesn't know she's sincerely 
does not understand the concept of being nice. Like it's, it's not there. <laughs> so I can give a little bit more patience to her. I mean, I still get a little upset by her. That's never going to go away. I don't think I'll ever not be able to like, you know, I'm always going to be sassy at her. She's just such an unlikable character, but yet like part of me does like that about her, that she's so just horrible and unlikable that you can just predict what she's going to do. Like, bro, she called the fire department just because she didn't want to like learn how to make macaroons, especially because it was Marinette's dad. Like, girl, come on. Like literally the worst, but there's something oddly charming about having that character who's just so bad and doesn't care because you know she's just gonna be a colossal bitch. And at the same time, like there's a small part of me that's like silently rooting for her. Like, yeah, fuck him up, bitch. Like, I like that she's so like, doesn't care what other people think about her besides Adrian. But like, doesn't care. She'll be the sassiest motherfucker out there. But like, as long as it makes her happy, she'll do it. So there, there's something oddly nice about that. Though it's terrible, it is still oddly nice to know that she's so herself. So like, you go girl, I guess. <laughs> um, Along with that, I like that Marinette got to dance with Adrian. It was really cute. And I like that Adrian um, seems to have some trust and understanding with Marinette. It is nice that they do seem to be friends. I felt like, in season one, we didn't really get to see much of that friendship because Marinette was always uh, 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 uh. But I like in this season, it kind of has already showed us that they do have some friendship built there. And so it's not odd for her to come up to him and talk. Yes, her class is also very small, so like it's fine. But like they do have a friendship built on that. And I feel like they're they're trying to push that forward more. So it's very fun. I thought it was really cute. I like the little macaroon scene at the end. It was adorable. Him being like, you're also good at make, you like making macaroons and dancing. Like very, very cute. I like that. Um, I didn't know if they would push it much or like show it a lot, but they are pushing like the Nino and Alia like relationship, which I like, I like it a lot. I'm glad that they're like showing it and it is a part of the season. I didn't know if maybe like, it wouldn't be a lot in this season. I didn't know when they were producing a lot of these, so I don't think they would show it as much. I thought maybe later in season two they might, but no, we've already had like two moments of them, maybe more actually, but at least two solid moments where they're like holding each other, dancing close, like, you know, being boyfriend, girlfriend. So it's, it's cute. It's really cute. I'm really glad it's fun. I like their relationship. I'm curious to kind of see it more, hopefully. Cause I'm glad Alia is having fun, but I kind of want to see like, what is, I want to know what Nino thinks about her lady blog. And I want to see him support her lady blog. I really want that. If we can get a moment like that, that'd make me really happy. I want to see him like have his phone on and be like, oh, Alia would love this. <laughs> I want to see the commitment to the relationship and the craziness she has for Ladybug. I want to see it. <laughs> or better yet, can he have a cat noir blog? <laughs> can they just have blog? Like, they're just a blogging couple. <laughs> but they don't blog themselves. They blog other things. <laughs> can, I, can, can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have your number? Can we? <laughs> Like, I love that. If we could have that, that would be great. <laughs> um, along with that, we haven't really seen much left of uh, the Guardian. I'm curious if he will pop back in soon or not. I would really like to know more with him. Kind of get a feel for what's happening. Um, I feel like it'd be beneficial for Marinette as well to give more information. And uh, I don't know. I'm also curious, is Adrian ever going to meet the Guardian? Like, that's just not a thing that's happened. And it's kind of upsetting. 
Like he deserves to go see the Guardian. Like what made what made Marinette so special that she got to go? Like why can't Adrian go? I see a little sad. So I don't know. I'm definitely excited. The season's already been hitting some really strong points. We've had a lot of like the love square. We've had some like interesting hawk moth things. Like he just sent a butterfly because he was like, oh, Chloe's hosting a party. Mm. I'm going to go send a butterfly because I know, I know that bitch going to cause trouble, <laughs> which is hilarious. I love that. Also, where the, where's Lila? Isn't she going to our school? Didn't she transfer? Did she leave? Like, where's Lila? She's not been in any of our school activities. Like, I thought she was going to be here, but she's just not. So, I don't know. She's just gone? That seems like a waste of a character. So a little disappointed in that fact that she's just like not here. But I'm excited. Hopefully we get some other new characters, especially because since Lila is like MIA, I would love new characters, maybe some new classmates. Um, I don't know. I, I'd like some new things, especially since we akumatize like almost all of our classmates. Besides, wait. No, Chloe was akumatized. She was, I keep forgetting she was akumatized. Chloe literally got akumatized as anti-bug. I keep forgetting that fact. She had that badass sword too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get some new characters. I'm hopeful that they're ones that'll stick around and not just one time things. I'm curious where Lila is. I'm curious if Adrian will ever get to meet the guardian as well. Um, I'm curious if Hawk Moth will do something crazy or if we're just going to kind of keep doing the same old thing. I'm also curious. He has a peacock miraculous. I'm curious what that is doing there. My only guess is mom had it and somehow mom maybe like died from the peacock like a miraculous. Very dark, but it'd be kind of cool. Um, I'm curious if we'll ever see the master use his miraculous since he has a turtle one. And then we also saw the... Uh, the, the Fox Volpina. I know someone was like, it's not called Volpina. Like, that's just the name she made. I'm sorry. The Fox Miraculous. And then there was a Brett one, which I couldn't see what symbol it was, though, because the Brett is blocking it. But it's not a Brett. It's like a hair clip, I should say. Or it's a Brett. Uh, but yeah, it's like yellow Brett. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's yellow. <laughs> They didn't really show it well. So I don't know. I'm also scared because like we only know one character who is like primarily yellow. And I know it doesn't like mean a lot because like Marinette doesn't really wear red at all. But like the only character we know that has yellow is like Chloe. And you know that these miraculouses are going to get out of that box. Let's be honest. They're not going to stay in the box. So I don't want her to get it. And I'm scared she's going to steal it or something. And I don't want that. And she's going to work for like Hawk Moth or something. Oh my God. Wouldn't that be terrible if Chloe got that like yellow bread? Oh, and like Hawk Moth gives it to her. Oh no. <gasps> her and Lila working for Hawk Moth would be sick. <gasps> That'd be cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm speculating. If I'm completely wrong, don't tell me. If I'm completely right, don't tell me. <laughs> I don't want to know spoilers. I'm just trying to think. My brain is everywhere and I'm very scared. I don't want Chloe to get a miraculous. I don't want her to steal a Miraculous. I don't want her to work for Hawk Moth. Maybe I do want her to work for Hawk Moth. That'd be kind of funny. But I don't want to hate her. After this episode, I, I have some sympathy for the girl. Like, the tiniest Bix. Like, she honestly just doesn't understand how horrid she is. So, like, you know, I have the tiniest bit of sympathy. Not a lot, but, like, tiny bit. So, I don't know. At this point now, I'm like... Maybe I don't want her to be, like, all bad, bad. I would like for her to turn around, but I don't think, like, she's the character that's going to do that because she's such a bitch. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? But, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun. It was interesting to see a 
moderately different side of Chloe. She's still horrible, but it was nice to see that she is she is capable of somewhat being nice. Yes, it's not from the heart kind of nice, but it is nice to know she is capable of it. Like she won't just explode or something if she's nice to someone. So yeah, it was interesting to say the least. So I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did as well. And of course I go hope, 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 hope you have been enjoying the miraculous week. Um, like I kind of said in the first one, I really wanted to get a head start on season two. Yes, we're still going to be a while in season two, but I didn't want to make some progress. So I feel like doing these six episodes in one week is kind of a great way to do that. And then we'll kind of go back to our regular miraculous ways of doing it on Tuesdays. Unless <laughs> you go like the season two, episode one and two reactions from Monday. Go and like that video. If that video hits 5,000 likes, that's right, 5,000 likes, we will start watching Miraculous Ladybug weekly on Tuesday and Thursday. So always guaranteed to have two episodes every week. I think that would be super great, but we can only hit that goal if you all like that video. I just want to make sure that everybody wants this bad enough that you will like a video. It is free. It does not cost you anything. You can get your grandma to go like it. You can just get your grandma's account to like it too. Like it's just fine. But as long as that video hits 5,000 likes within a reasonable amount of time, then we will start watching Miraculous twice a week. So make sure you go click that video. It'll be in the end card as well. And of course, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe this one as well. And I will see you all later. Bye.